Hello everyone, this is AB Creative. How are you today? Now, in this episode, I'm going to paint my favorite subject and I'm going to use one of my favorite methods to do it. I'm going to use a balloon and I'm going to paint some flowers. So, this is going to be my very special balloon dip smash kiss with my own twist. As you know, I love experimenting and making things slightly different. So lots of my Instagram followers were asking me to show the process in depth. So here it is. Instead of canvas, I am going to use this round board today. And I put it higher on those little containers, just in case the paint may drip down. These are my colors for today. So we've got tallow green, titanium white and burnt amber by Arteza. But I'm going to mix these colors with a bit of uh, Liquitex heavy body acrylics. So I'm going to add a bit of this light blue to my to deep turquoise and then I'm going to create an orange using cadmium yellow and cadmium red. When you use heavy body acrylics you have to be sure you mix your paint really really well. Uh, the paint is much thicker and will be much harder to get rid of little lumps. Now I mix my own pouring medium which is 50% of water, 50% of PVA glue. Then I add paint to it. I would say one third of paint, two thirds of pouring medium. And then when I mix it really well, I add a dash of Floetrol. So these are my colors mixed. I think I forgot one, I use uh, Arteza Gold as well. So this is the consistency. You can see how nicely it flows. So I'm putting my white paint in the background and using my spatula, actually palette knife that I call spatula. And I'm spreading it evenly. However, I just don't want only white background. I'm going to add a bit of gold and a bit of brown to it to create some interesting tone. I'll sprinkle a bit of gold here. Just leave one section white. And then spread it. I'm just trying to mix it with my white so there are no boundaries seen, no borders. Just a gradual change of tone. And now I'll add a bit more brown here. I need, I need to add white as well. Like a sort of very light coffee colour. Then I might add a bit, a bit more darker section here at the bottom. Go back up and add more beigey. I quite like it sort of getting from lighter to darker. Almost there, just a bit more brown at the bottom. I want it much darker here. I think I will leave it like this. And it's time to plant my flowers. I have to think of a nice composition. So I'm going to make some brown circles around here. This will be the outer petals of my flowers. And maybe one here. I can always add more. I'll just start with these. Next will be my lovely blue mix. And I'm just thinking maybe with some flowers I'll put the blue outside as well. I'm even thinking maybe I'll just do some blue here. Just really small. My orange mix. I'm not really super careful. I'm just putting the blobs randomly because I want each flower to be different. I don't want them to be perfect. And the last one will be gold in the middle. Now this is my balloon. I'm not going to blow it up like huge. I think this size would probably be fine. It's actually nice to have different sizes. The smaller flowers and bigger flowers. I'll just see how it is. Yeah. That's okay. Okay, uh, also it's really good to have a wet towel or something handy that you can wipe your balloon every time you make one flower. I'm going to wipe it off. I made a smaller one as well, just in case I need it. So let's start with this one. And you will have some paint here, so you can always use it and touch another place to make a small 
smaller flower. If you don't like the flower, just go over again. I'll see later on what I think about it. So I'm wiping the balloon off. Oh, I forgot some gold. I can see now there's no gold on this one and there's no gold here. The gold will look exceptionally good once the painting is dry because the Arteza gold dries beautifully. Okay, number two. I think I'm going to go over this one. It's a bit too similar to my liking. Okay, I'm taking the smaller balloon now. Trying to... Oh! I can still see I forgot gold here as well. Okay, maybe a bit more brown. Okay, the smaller red one. That's cute. Another flower. Just thinking maybe I should redo, or maybe I'll do one here. Oh, this is too light. Well, that's quite cute. Redo this one. Some baby ones here. I'm not sure if I like this flower or probably I'll redo this one as well. So I've changed my mind. I've decided to redo this one and make a little baby one here. Still, I prefer the red balloon is sort of, I don't know, some balloons are better than others and I actually have my favourite old one, you can see, I've been using this for months, but it's still working, it's a really good one. <laughs> so let's try and do this one well. Um, uh, not sure, it looks better than it was. Maybe a tiny bit here. As usual, thinking of a composition to make it look nice. I might do a baby one here as well. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about this one. Where's my little balloon? A tiny bit of gold in the middle. I much prefer the contrast. This is kind of too blurry. Uh, not sure about this one. I'm going to torch some of them. Oh, you can see the cells forming. Well, if you don't like some part, you can always fix it using, for example, a palette knife or even your finger. Just some sections, tiny bit of improvement. Okay, I think I'm going to take you for a close-up now. So you can see some petals from up close. Look how many cells. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty cool. If you make something similar, if you get inspired by my painting, I would really love to see your work. So it'd be awesome if you could send it to me via Instagram. My piece is completely dry now and I'm preparing it for some resin layer. So I have to make sure it's all nicely sealed. You can see the gold. So I wiped it with isopropyl alcohol. And this is my favourite resin to cover an art piece. Mastercast by Ellie Kem. You mix it one to one, so one part of resin to one part of hardener. You have to think about health and safety when you use resin, so make sure you are wearing gloves and you are wearing a respirator. Mine resin, even though it's non-toxic and it's not harmful, I still protect myself. So what I've got here in my little silicone cup is 50 ml of resin and 50 ml of hardener. And I'm going to mix it really well, approximately 3-4 minutes. Make sure that you scrape all the edges so it's nicely combined. You know it's well mixed when it's all nice and clear. There's no cloudy residue, there are no wispy cloudy bits. So now it's ready, ready to go. It's really important to elevate your piece while you are putting resin on. If you don't use anything underneath, then the painting can just get stuck to the background. So that's ready. I've got my little containers. 
So I love recycling everything ready for resin. Oh, by the way, there's a link to all my products. Uh, there's a link to the paints I use, resin I use, and all the other equipment in the description. So I'm making a puddle in the middle. I'm going to spread it towards the edges. So now I'm just dragging the resin gently towards the edges. Hopefully I mixed enough. It's self-leveling, so we don't have to worry about it. Once you spread it nicely, it should be all the same level. Now I'm pouring some more around the edges. I'm trying to create a really nice dome, like I did, I did with my little fish. I'll show you in a minute. Mastercast resin spreads really nicely. It's quite thick. So you get a sort of very, very nice dome. I think I'm almost done. Just checking the edges. They are covered. I can use my finger as well to run all around. Just the leftover resin. Because I want to be sure that the edges are perfectly sealed as well. You see how the colours, they are so much deeper now. I'll take you for a close-up in a minute once I'm done. And take the gloves off. The last thing to do is to make sure that there are no air bubbles. So this is my little chef's torch. And I'm just going to pop the bubbles really quickly. See how the bubbles are disappearing. I brought another lamp just to see if there's anything left. And I can see a few bubbles here. Well, time for a close-up. Look at the gold. Now you can see the colours like really beautifully popping up. <laughs> I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please press like and don't forget to subscribe. I'm still going to show you the fish because I promised to show you the resin dome. And perhaps I'll show you the flowers in the artificial light. Look at all the glare. Wow. Look at the gold. The artesa gold is amazing. So this is the next day and I just have to show you how beautifully the resin is set. Look at this. And the really nice edges. I think I'm very pleased with the outcome. I wonder what your thoughts are. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please press like and don't forget to subscribe. I, I'll be also very grateful for all the suggestions you may have of me improving something or maybe a new technique. Oh, one more thing because some of you were asking. The fat, cute fish from my previous video is called Bob. Thank you so much for all the suggestions. So see you soon. Bye bye. Thank you very much for watching.